Adding two numbers is basically combining both numbers or add-ins into one number called the sum. If you have two groups of candy, one has six and the other has eight candies, finding the total number of all candies is combining all into one group. The sum is 14. Performing addition follows a few common sense rules. Adding two or more whole numbers results in a whole number sum. The order in which numbers are added doesn't matter. The sum will always be the same. Finally, adding zero to any number gives the same number as the sum. One way to add two numbers is using the number line. To add 2 and 9, start on the number line at the first addend 2, then move 9 units since the second addend is 9. The number at which the moving stops is the sum of the two numbers. 2 plus 9 is 11. Adding single digit numbers is straightforward. 7 plus 9 is 16. 6 plus 5 is 11. Adding skills get better by practice. When adding three numbers, break down the problem to add two numbers at a time. To add 2 plus 5 plus 8, first add 2 and 5. It's 7. Then add the sum 7 to 8. The final sum is 15. Let's add 3, 5, 1, and 4. Start by adding 3 and 5, it's 8. Add 8 and 1, it's 9. At last, add 9 and 4. The final sum is 13. Let's add the following. Add 56 and 2. If at least one of the add-ins has two or more digits, it's best to set up the problem vertically and work the addition in columns. Note the second column is missing a digit. Bring in a zero to balance the columns. Now start by adding the far right column. Six and two is eight. Work on the second column. Five and zero is five. The sum is 58. Let's do this problem. Add 37 plus 85. Set up the problem vertically. Add the first column, 7 plus 5 is 12. Write down 2 below the line, then carry 1 over the second column. Add 1, 3, and 8. It's 12. The sum is 122. Add 9, 56, and 8, 53. Set up the problem. Add the first column, it's 9. At the second, 5 and 5 is 10. Write 0 and carry 1 over the last column. Then add 1 plus 9 plus 8 is 18. The sum is 1,809. Let's do the next problem. At the first column, 0 and 8 is 8. 6 and 5 is 11. Write 1 and carry 1 over the third column. Add 1, 3, and 5. It's 9. Add 9 and 6. It's 15. Write 5 and carry 1 over the last column. Finally, add 1, 1, and 0. It's 2. The final sum is 25,918. Now let's add three numbers. Set up the problem vertically. Fill in the spaces with three zeros. Adding columns as before. Two, two, and eight is 12. Write two and carry one over the second column. Add one, eight, six, and nine. It's 24. Write four and carry two over the third column. Then add 2, 2, 5, and 0. It's 9. 
Finally, add one, zero, and zero, it's one. Let's do a last problem. Fill in the empty spaces with zeros. Add the first column, it's 11. Add the second column, it's 19. Add the next column, it's 11. Finally, add the last column, it's 9. Addition is used in everyday situations to find sums and make decisions accordingly. To successfully solve any war problem, read the problem carefully. Terry saved $203 the first month, $89 the second, and $288 the third. She wants to purchase a $500 home gym equipment. Is her savings enough to make the purchase? Now think of the problem as a story to understand what's given and what's asked. So Terry saved three amounts and she wants to make a decision on whether she can purchase the gym equipment. To find the answer, add up all individual savings, 203, 89, and 288 dollars in columns before. Add the first column, add the second column, including the carried over two. Finally, add the third column, including the carried over one. The total saving is $580. The gym equipment cost $500, which is less than the total savings. Terry can buy the equipment.